So welcome everyone. My name is Andy Parker. I'm the director of facilities here at the Clemens Center and uh, looking around here a little bit, you might think that we're in one of the lowest areas in the theater. We've got steps uh, going down. Uh, let's go down them a little bit here. We'll walk out. And a lot of utility items, obviously. So where are we? Do you think we're going down, 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 maybe into the basement? Where do you think we are right now? We just keep going down and down through a doorway here now in front of us. Hey, wait, wait a second. That's the stage in front of us. You bet. We are actually, we're actually in the cove right now. Uh, looking around in the cove, uh, we're looking at the front of house spotlights. These are used to give a warm or cool wash on the stage. It's used oftentimes for special accents. If we look out to the opening and down onto the stage below, doesn't everything look really small? Quite, uh, quite small indeed. And we'll peek out here just a little bit. Don't fall, don't fall. Wow, that is a long way down, isn't it? Those are all the seats in the uh, orchestra level seating. Um, I think we've uh, explored this enough. Uh, we're gonna leave the cove and we're gonna head out into some more areas to explore. We're uh, walking actually towards the stage at this point, but many, many, many feet above it. And uh, as we go along our way, we're gonna stop and uh, take a look at the what's called the house left box boom. We're gonna walk out here and uh, take a look at this uh, safety equipment. There's a ladder and it's, see it's how it's enclosed on four sides, four sides down there. That makes it very safe. We're not gonna walk down there today because there's just too many of us, uh, but uh, another time we'll come back and we'll take another look at that. Now moving along, the next stop in our journey up here, boy, there's a lot of ductwork, isn't there? All over the place. Well, we got to keep you guys warm and warm in the winter time and cool in the summertime. Anyway, um, there's a uh, igloo-shaped device, and uh, see that red circular chimney kind of coming out of it? That's uh, the top side of the dome. When you're sitting in your seats and you look up at the ceiling, you see that dome that's all lit up pretty. Well, this is what it looks like from the uh, unfinished side up top. Still pretty spectacular, don't you think? So uh, let's look down here and uh, see this hole down here. We'll get a better look down through there and uh, yep, way, way down. See the seats that you guys sit in? How high we're above them? Well, what there is above this hole, there's an I-beam right there. It's welded onto the surrounding steelwork and uh, we can support loads on this I-beam by attaching a clamp to it and up to 2,000 pounds is uh, suspended usually on a hoist with chains, cabling and such down through that hole and whether it's uh, additional speakers or truss with lighting on it or whatever you need, uh, that's how we hang auxiliary items on it. And uh, now, ahead of us, see that room that's connected to the dome right there with that uh, piece of ductwork? Just a second. This is something special. I can't wait to show you. So now, we are at one of the areas that very, very, very few people ever get to see. And uh, a lot of times it's been out of service, but let's open the door here and take a look. Yep. Look at the pipes, folks. This is the third organ loft at the Clemens Center. It's called the Echo Chamber. The pipes in here produce some of the most soft and smooth and delicate notes and add just a special touch to the songs that uh, they use them with. Uh, You've got uh, devices around here, and I'll I'll make a statement right now. Uh, we really should have David David Peckham with us on this tour. Uh, he couldn't make it tonight, but uh, I will add some of his narration onto this tour at some point, so he can tell you a lot more about everything and 
I'm just doing my best to fill in so that you can see things in his absence. But uh, we find ways to put pipes just about anywhere you can. And uh, this this echo chamber added several ranks. Each uh, each grouping of pipes is referred to as a rank, and you can see we've got a lot of them here. And see that uh, one pipe that's off at an angle? That's not a mistake. That's done on purpose because the pipe needed to be of a certain length, but if it had been straight, it would have run into the pipes above it. So David Peckham, clever guy that he is, he just built it in a angle and made it fit in there and it still sounds just perfect like it's supposed to. We're going to see another one like that in not uh, just just a little while. There's some electronics on the wall and look around. See all the just miles and miles of wiring. Every one of those wire sets and uh, the devices connected to it each represent a valve that opens and closes to let air into each one of those pipes and uh, there's a few different styles and note sometimes they're on the ceiling sometimes they're on the wall sometimes they're uh, on shelves we'll get to that in just a second but um, there's stylistic differences um, these these valves notice are on one side of this chest right here and uh, then the one below, it seems to be missing them, but uh, nope, I, I guarantee you they're not missing. They're just in another place. Where do you suppose they're hiding in there? Oh, there they are. They're just on the other side. So um, this organ originally went in as a Marr and Colton. Well, right now it's a David Peckham. It's been modified heavily over the years, but boy, it sounds great, and I can't wait for you guys to hear it sometime in the near future, I hope. Uh, this is one of the biggest pipes in the, it's probably the biggest pipe in the echo chamber. And uh, to make it fit, notice, like that other pipe, it's actually got a bend in it. And uh, um, I'm pretty sure, I wish David here was here, like I said, but I think that's an 8-foot pipe. And to make it fit in a small space, he put a bend in it. And uh, it sounds just perfect. Uh, it's got its own dedicated wind chest. And um, there's a thing in the world of organs that's referred to as swell. Swell in an organ is having the ability to control the volume. Some pipes are open and they're out and they're always exposed. Uh, theater organs uh, are often controlled with swell. And uh, oh, looking out beyond those, those boards... Those are uh, lights that are in the dome. Uh, there's a grating right there that the sound from the echo chamber can enter into the room below. And uh, these shutters that you see moving back and forth like that, those control the volume by making the opening larger or smaller. Now these are controlled with that link right there. They're, they're connected with a link, I should say. So... The, the one on the left controls the one on the right. Um, the rest of them um, all operate individually, so they add more volume by opening one shutter at a time. And uh, that's, that's how we can very effectively control the volume of the sound coming out of this echo chamber. As I say, I really wish David had been with us today. He could have explained this so much better than I could. But uh, we're going to get one more look at all these pipes and what a variety. Isn't it amazing? There's some as small as your pinky finger. And uh, this organ has pipes of all sizes, all shapes. And uh, it. I, we, we should all be so proud that Elmira has this wonderful pipe organ here at the Clemens Center. So it's about time to wrap up. Glad you came along on the tour today. We're going to uh, leave the echo chamber, and I hope you'll join us on the other tours of the other organ lofts today. You've got a lot more to see. 
Thank you very much. Enjoy.